If you follow my channel, you're probably familiar with my schooner Irene design. We have a lot of fun with Irene and her gaff rigged sister I call Tramp. A while back I built myself another schooner. I was just having fun and wanted to try out a couple of new ideas. She proved to be a really nice boat with a personality all her own. I went ahead and drew up plans for her. I call her Annie. Her construction is quite like Irene, plywood over bulkheads with a single shine V-bottom. The aluminum fin and the rudder are easily removed. At 58 inches in length, Annie's hull is equal in length to Irene with her bowsprit and boomkin. Her beam is a little bit narrower than Irene and her displacement is less at 20 pounds compared to Irene's 25. The jib boom is swivel mounted to the deck and the fore boom and main boom both incorporate vangs. The vangs are quite simple, being made of a piece of twine which has a little bit of stretch to absorb the shock loads and avoid damage to the master boom. Pelican hooks connect the shrouds to the gunnels. A single sail winch in the cabin controls all three sails. The sheets tie off to cleats on the cabin side, making for easy individual adjustments. The spurs are made from pinewood dowels, and the sails are laced to the mast with twine. The sails on Annie were made by Rod Carr. He can provide sails for my Irene and Emma designs as well. Sheet blocks are lashed to the booms. Notice the pelican hook backstay connection and the mainsail clue lashing to the boom. At the top of the foremast, you can see the halyard arrangement for the gaff foresail. A red pennant flies from the mainmast, a tradition on a homeward-bound vessel. <laughs> 